In this video, I will show you how to connect your MacBook to Roku TV wirelessly. And over here, I have a TCL Roku TV, but it doesn't matter the brand of Roku TV you have. By the end of this video, you should be able to connect your MacBook to your Roku TV so that the TV starts displaying everything that is on your MacBook. I'm also going to show you how to use your Roku TV as a second screen for your MacBook. Now first things first, you have to make sure that both your Roku TV and your MacBook are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. So you want to head over to the Wi-Fi settings of your Roku TV, come over to network over here and then come over to the setup connection settings, click on wireless, then proceed to connect your Roku TV to your Wi-Fi network. Now over here, you can literally see the name of my Wi-Fi network, which is basically my phone's hotspot. So I'll just go ahead and select it and then make sure that my Roku TV is actually connected to my Wi-Fi network. And once that is done, you also want to make sure that your MacBook is also connected to the same Wi-Fi network as your Roku TV. So basically, you want to come over to the notification center over here. You can literally see the Wi-Fi icon. Go ahead and click on it. And then make sure it is also connected to the same Wi-Fi or hotspot network as your TV. And once that is done, come over to your Roku TV. Go back to the settings of the TV and then you just want to scroll down until you get to the Apple AirPlay and HomeKit settings over here. Go ahead and click on it to open up Apple Airplay on your Roku TV. Now at this point, first things first, you have to make sure that Apple Airplay is turned on on your Roku TV. And once that is done, come over to your MacBook and then come over to this top notification center over here. Go ahead and click on it. And then you're going to see the screen mirroring option over here. So you just want to go ahead and select that. And over here, you're going to see all of the devices or TVs that you can actually connect and screen mirror your MacBook to. You can literally see my 32 inch TCL Roku TV over here. So I'll just go ahead and select it from over here. I'll give it some few seconds. And now you have to enter the code on your TV inside of this imposed field on your MacBook. So I'll go ahead and enter mine. And immediately you enter the code, your MacBook will be connected to your Roku TV. And as you can see, it works absolutely well. I can go ahead and start playing games on my MacBook and whatever I want to do on my MacBook will be displayed on my Roku TV as well. Now, in order for you to use your Roku TV as a second screen for your MacBook, basically what you want to do is to come back to the home of your MacBook and then come over to that notification center where we saw the screen mirroring feature. Go ahead and click on it. And then you just want to click on the screen mirroring feature once again. And over here, you're going to see the mirror built-in retina display and the use as separate display option. Now to use your Roku TV as a separate display, you want to go ahead and select use as separate displays, which automatically makes your Roku TV a second screen for your MacBook. If you find this video useful, please make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more interesting tech tips like this one.